now that we've finished painting the background, cutting out our background, painting our background sky, and painting our tree branches, is for us to paint some green um, in I have our tree branches. Green and I have yellow. I have a couple different shades of greens and yellows. And I have a little piece of a sponge here. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just start with a little bit of yellow first. And just go ahead and sponge on some of your paint. Okay, so next I'm going to go ahead and paint the bird, now that we've got the trees sponged in with some greens. And I'm going to go ahead and start first with some white temper paint. I'm using a very small brush and I poured out some uh, white temper paint onto my uh, magazine for a palette. And I'm first going to start by painting the belly of the bird. Might need a couple coats of this. I'm going to paint a little bit of white around the neck. And maybe just a little around the top of the head. I have a darker temper blue, a dark blue here. And I'm going to go in and paint the wings. So I'm actually going to go ahead and stop here for now, and I want to let this temper paint dry before I add more to it. So while our bird is drying, let's go ahead and glue down our string for our bird's nest. Find a good spot in the trees. So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue down on my magazine. And just go ahead and paint some down onto your surface. and try to stick on your bird's nest materials. Just going to keep building this up. Pulling apart my string. And cut it up if you need to. I also have some twigs, so if you find some twigs that you want to use, stick those on there too. Also, go ahead and use your scrap pieces of cardboard that you tore off.
some of the twigs you can just kind of stick into your material. Once you get it built up enough, it should stay. And don't forget about your bird's eggs. Go ahead and paint some glue onto the back of those. And stick those in your nest. To put the finishing touches on your bird, you can go into your dried tempera paint and add colored pencil. I'm doing hatch marks to try to get a sense of feathers and texture on the bird. 